Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my June TBR for you. All right, so June is Pride Month. So all of the books on my TBR for this month are LGBTQIA plus books. So let's go ahead and dive into what's on my list for this month. So the first book that I'm planning to read in June is The Lightning Struck Heart. This is the first book in the Tales from Marinia series by TJ Klune. This one has tons of queer rep throughout the entire thing. This is definitely not a series for children. Please, young adult readers, if you're under 18, please don't read this book. Um, it is very not uh, appropriate. Okay, so I'm just going to read you the synopsis from the back because I don't know how to summarize it any better than this does. Um, so it says, Once upon a time in an alleyway in the slums of the city of Lox, a young and somewhat lonely boy named Sand Havers Ford turns a group of teenage douchebags into stone completely by accident. Of course, this catches the attention of a higher power, and Sam's pulled from the only world he knows to become an apprentice to the king's wizard, Morgan of Shadows. When Sam's 14, he enters the dark woods and returns with Gary, who is a hornless gay unicorn and a half-giant named Tiggy, earning the moniker Sam of Wilds. At 15, Sam learns that love truly is when a new knight arrives at the castle. Knight Ryan Foxheart, the dreamiest dream to ever have been dreamed. Naturally, it all goes to hell when Ryan dates the reprehensible Ch Prince Justin. Sam can't control his magic. He's actually aggressive. Dragon kidnaps the prince, and the king sends them on an epic quest to save Ryan's boyfriend, all while Sam falls more in love with someone he can never have. Or so he thinks. So honestly, I don't know how I could have summed that up any better than the book already does. Um, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so the next book that I'm planning to read is Scape Gracers. So this follows Sideway Pike, who is like at the bottom of the social period pyramid of West High, and she lurks under the bleachers doing magic tricks for bottles of coke. As a witch, a lesbian, and a lifelong outsider, she's had a hard time making friends, but when three of the most popular girls at the school pay her $40 to cast a spell at their Halloween party, Sideways gets swept into a new clique. And, you know, together the four of them bond to form a ferocious and powerful coven. They plan parties, cast curses on dude bros, and try to find Sideways a girlfriend, um, and elude the fundamentalist witch hunters hellbent on stealing their magic. So this just sounds really fun, um, and I can't wait to dive into it. Also, this book cover is just stunning, and I really love this, like, iridescent thing it's got going on. So my graphic novel for this month is going to be Heartstopper Volume 3. Uh, this follows Nick and Charlie as they go on their class field trip to France for a week. And it also delves into some of the darker topics that this comic is covering. Um, but it's also just, you know, the sweetest thing. And honestly, I just, I love Nick and Charlie so much and I can't wait to continue their story. So this book has a lot of different queer reps. Um, so we have trans rep we have, gay rep we have, bisexual rep, lesbian rep. I believe there are maybe a couple non-binary characters in here as well. So this one I'm really looking forward to. And then the last book that I have planned for this month is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. This is the second book in the Wayward Children series. This is well as Jack and Jill who are the twin sisters from book one. Um, and they have kind of found their way back into the door to the land that they had been in since they were kids and I really don't want to know too much more going into this. Um, this one has a lot of queer rep in it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, I don't know if the character, one of the characters is non-binary or Arrow or Ace. I don't remember exactly but this one I'm really really excited to dig into because the Wayward Children series or the Wayward Children universe is just so cool. Um, it's for all of these kids that have been to other lands like through a door or a portal or you know, kind of like Peter Pan or Alice in Wonderland and they come back to our world and can't really deal with that. And yeah, I'm really excited to see these characters go back to the world after they'd been home. So that's really exciting. And then if I have any leftover reading time, I might jump into Fence Striking Distance um, because that one I'm really, really dying to get into. <laughs> All right, so that is what I'm planning to read in June. What are you guys planning to read this month? Let me know down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already and would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.